So Samik Samaka said, um, I said, um, I said she looking to screw and give him a baby. No, I'm not. We don't what are you looking you. for? Is that First your part. friend? Is that your friend? Yeah, this is my friend. Okay, let me, let me talk to your friend. This, this be the problem. You don't think what your friend is doing is uh, is is crazy? I don't think so. No, we tell me why. Anything is possible. As a real estate broker, we see things all the time. She sees people sending ar edible arrangements. We see stuff all the time, so it's not crazy. So, okay, so do you think that? Okay, have you? Do you know any success stories? With rappers that this has happened to? This is going to be a success story. Mark all words. Mark all words. This will be your first success story, but as a real estate broker, my friend sees it all the time. We see these things all the time. As Tampa okay, well, hold on real quick. Well, hold on. I, I, I have a few success stories from the show, and I'm asking you as her friends. You're saying you as a real estate. Do you guys honestly just, as her friends, feel as though her having his address, which he didn't give to her, she which goes to send him an edible arrangement, you don't think he would think that this is a stalker? No, no. We, we, we believe. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy once again. <laughs> with another episode of Foolery. Now, let's jump right into this, man. I, I keep looking at these people that come on this Kendra show, and I try to give them the benefit of the doubt, but I can't. These are some of the weirdest people that comes on this show, man. I mean, any show, she has picked a litter of, I'll say, damn near the worst. So she get this girl. She comes on here. But instead of looking for someone regular, no. She wants to go for this high-profile celebrity rapper. And y'all see her, right? But this is what she want to go for. Future. Of all the rappers, Future. 10, 12, baby, daddy, future. That's what she want. So, let's see how this go. Let's just see how this go. Y'all don't forget, hit that subscribe, like, and share, man. Definitely hit that notification bell because you want to see more of this stuff. Believe me. Check this out. I'm in the casino. Oh, at the casino. Is yeah. it okay? You can go live at the casino? Um, yeah, but I'm stepping outside. Okay. <laughs> What's your name, baby? I'm, my name is Janelle, but I go by Nelly. Nelly. Oh, me, want me to call you Nelly? Yeah, you can call me Nelly. Nelly, where you call me from, boo? Tampa, Florida. Tampa, Florida. Stop moving, honey. How old are you? I am 34. 34. Stop um, moving. What do you do for a living? I'm a claim specialist, and I also do real estate. Okay, again, stop moving, honey. Real estate. Oh, what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. Nelly, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm telling you to stop moving. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, Libra. Libra. Do you have any kids? I do have one son. How old is your son? 13. Can you hold that? All right. Let's do it. We got Nelly, Tampa, Florida, 34 Libra, a claim specialist, and also does real estate. So, uh, mom to a 13-year-old. How could... What kind of man are you looking for? I'm looking for... I'm actually, like, reaching out to someone specific, Kendra. I messaged you. I'm not going to tell the crowd who he is, but um, I actually reached out to a celebrity. And, like, I told him, like, I had someone deliver him, like, edibles. And then, like, I see him on stage and I gave him a gift. So, I don't want to say who this celebrity is, but... What does he do? He's a rapper. Uh, uh, Janelle? Nelly? Okay, so y'all heard what she said, right? She said uh, she's been sending old dude edibles, I guess the fruit edible bouquet type stuff. I, I don't think that'll catch a lot of attention. I mean, sound like kind of groupy stalkish type of stuff, but let's see. We can't hear you. We can't hear you, baby. Fix your stuff. Is this guy trying to say? We cannot hear you, honey. We can't hear you. I, I need to hear the rest of the story. Oh my God. Now you gotta call me back. Cause I need to hear the rest of the story on how what rapper you send edibles to who is this? So 
Natalie, get your Wi Fi together. Oh, wait, wait. I think she's back. Is it I'm back? Hello? Yes, I'm back. I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. I'm wait a minute. Oh, so, name one of the songs. I can't because you're going to know. I don't want people to like be in my like box and I don't want to cause that type of attention. But Okay, so do I know the guy? Because it's you do. I reached out to you to tell you like that I sent it and I sent you a picture. But like, I don't want that type what's of... What's your Instagram? You, you DM'd it to me? I won't say I, his name. I DM'd it to you. you. Okay, what's your Instagram? Beauty, 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 32. Oh, sorry. Um, and we did like, we like connected. Wait, what is like, what is your Instagram? Spell it slow. B-E-A-U-T-Y. B, I got to spell it slow. B. Kendra be having these slow moments. Y'all know that? She in the middle, she's saying beauty. Okay, again? B E A. U T Y B E A U T Y again and then a third time and then 32 on the end. Girl, you're going too fast. Beauty, so beauty three times. You're you you went out. Hello? You know what it is? Hello? Put your I put your phone on do not disturb. Okay, she's back. You put your phone on Do Not Disturb? Okay, so for a minute, before she start back, isn't it a little weird that you're coming on here and telling her about this celebrity, but you won't tell her who it is? Now, maybe she's assuming, she's probably seen Kendra on with him, took a picture with him or something to know that they're friends because she DM Kendra directly and telling her this situation with future. So she Kendra must be like a real good friend of his or something, and she know this. So that's why she's trying to get on this show like this. Still coming off weird. No, nope. do I can I do that? You need to do that. I think that's what it is. Okay, let me put it on do not disturb. Do you want me to okay. read this DM? I found a DM you sent me. Do you want me to read it out loud? No. Oh. <laughs> oh, don't read it out loud. Okay, let me read it real quick. She don't want me to read it out loud. Um, she's reading That's some big arms. No. Oh. Not to um, get off subject, but girl has some big arms on her. Like, was she like maybe she was like a big girl and lost weight because her arms are really big. Okay, so Nelly, I can't see your face. Yes. Okay, yeah. we need the light. We need the light. Oh, sure. All right. So Nelly, what do you want from me? Like, what is your? Yeah, I believe that's what it was. Cause they kind of funny looking. You see that when you see them? What is your goal? I can't hear you. Man. Did you put your phone on Do Not Disturb? Get I don't recommend this, honey. Hello. Hello. Do you have the phone on mute this time? I do. I blocked everybody. I blocked my babysitter, too. Your babysitter? I didn't even get to that. Okay, you just put in. She called me a second ago. And um, this is Nelly, Tampa, Florida, 34 Libra, acclaimed specialist in real estate, mom to a 13-year-old. But she DM'd me. I, I never saw the DM until tonight. I just went to her page, and I went. Come hold the phone. And I went to the message. And basically, there's a rapper who she likes, and she's trying to get the rapper's attention. Now, you don't want to say the rapper's name, so how are you going to use my, my platform to get his attention? Because I feel like he knows what I've sent him. My, the thing is, the card, when I sent the edibles, the card got rained on because it rained. I mean, I'll tell you where the card got mailed, but I just don't want to say who it is. But wait, did you, where did you send the edibles? Now, how would you know a card you sent got rained on? Or you guys hand-delivered this thing to his house, one of his houses and left it out front, and then it started raining. Because how would you know you in another city, you send it to one of his houses somewhere, and the card got rained on? This is weird as shit, man. Some of the things y'all ladies go through, man, for these celebrities is ridiculous. She has a 13-year-old daughter, and she out here acting like this. Shit is dumb. Wait, how do you, but listen, you don't even know this man. How can you love him? I mean, not love him, but oh, I'm just saying, me, like, I'm attracted to him. Let's back up a second. Miss something. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. There, it was in the public records. I didn't go looking for it. It was just there.
No, 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 no. Kendra on that ass about that address. Let's see. Let's just take her back for a minute. Um, this is Nellie, Tampa, Florida, 34 Libra, a claim specialist in real estate, mom to a 13-year-old. But she DM'd me. I, I never saw the DM until tonight. I just went to her page and I went. Come hold the phone. And I went to the message. And basically, there's a rapper who she likes and she's trying to get the rapper's attention. Now, you don't want to say the rapper's name. So how are you going to use my, my platform to get his attention? Because I feel like he knows what I've sent him. My The thing is, the card, when I sent the edibles, the card got rained on because it rained. I mean, I'll tell you what the card got mailed, but I just don't want to say who it is. But wait, did you, where did you send the edibles to? Miami. One of his Miami homes. How do you know his address? How do you know it It was rained? released online a long time ago. Girl, that's a stalker. You a stalker. <laughs> Hell, it was there. It was in the public records. I didn't go oh looking for God. it. It was just there. You did go looking for it because you had to go to the public record to get it. No, when it was leaked online, I found out about it. A, a friend of mine knows that I'm in love with him and seen it. So she sent it to me. Girl, you don't think this is an obsession? I mean, I didn't go there. I just said I had... Wait, wait, wait. How do you... But listen, you don't even know this man. How can you love him? I mean, not love him, but I'm just saying, like, I'm attracted to him. I'm strongly attracted to him. So, and the, I, I won't... You told me not to read the DM you sent me, right? You can read it because it doesn't say his name in there. I was trying okay, to... Okay, so see this? Okay. She sent me this DM. You sent me this DM earlier this month. Well, last month, in March. Right. right. And the DM says... Kendra, I actually have a question. I need a little advice. I delivered edible arrangements to someone that's a celebrity, hoping to get their attention. I try to think outside the box. And I know for people who are rich and famous, sometimes people in their circle forget about them. But I'm honestly so attracted to him. If he didn't have the fame or the money, I would still want him anyways. Right. Just thought I would see what, what you think, please, um, need... Um, you need an advice column. I would love to. I would love to re remain anonymous. By the way, thanks for all. For, thanks for saying this. Well, you're not anonymous now because right. I just read this with your face. Um, that was a dumb, dumb DM. You're gonna say you're you're anonymous, so you didn't give your name. You just got on the show and told him you were infatuated with that rapper, which you did not say who it is. So how is Kendra supposed to know who this person is? And who are you? So you dig up on the show and see if Kendra got your DM, what you're trying to see. And then hoping, this chick is really hoping that this man is on Kendra G's show and just happen to see her. That's what she's hoping for. This chick is crazy, man. Girlfriend, I would suggest, I'm going to be honest with you, stop. <laughs> you're doing too much. Right. Yeah, exactly. You're doing too much, honey. If this man... I mean, he probably got the edible arrangement and was spooked the hell out. He's probably like, how the hell does this person have my address? Right. And that's scary. And this is not going to turn him on. You know, I want to just keep it real. You're coming across as a fan slash group. Man, I'll be honest. If a basket of fruit showed up at my house and I know nobody knows where it came from, that shit going to the trash. I'm just being honest. I'm not eating something that just shows up. I'm, that shit is going to the trash. They could have put anything on this food. And it's like, are you sending me something to eat that randomly just sends some shit? I don't know who you are. No, 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 no. That shit's going in the trash. You wasted your money, young lady, because that went to the trash. I can guarantee you that. And then you don't even know if he's at home. So if he had people that upkeeps the house, they probably called him about it. He's like, who name on it? Don't know who it is. Trash it. And we probably trash it anyway because he ain't there. And, and I don't know who it is, but if he's a famous rapper, women do this all the time. And the likelihood of him, this turning him on and saying, I'm going to diss every woman in the world... No, this is kind of stalkerish, honey. I don't expect him to diss every woman in the world. I was just hoping that it would bring some, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, would see, like be curious of who's sending, you know? And just, yeah, like, I, I would be curious, and then I would call the cops. Like, yeah. if someone sent me something to my house, I would then, uh, my next phone call would be the police of how do they have my address? Because I would be scared. 
I mean, right. I didn't go. I didn't go there because again, I would be embarrassed, and again, I wouldn't know what to say. I don't do that. Yeah, but the but the point of the matter is, you are a stranger, and you have this home address. That's scary. Home you know, home. like what else? You know, what else do you know that he probably don't want you to know? But why are you so obsessed with this man? There's not. Regular guys that you you don't want to date a regular guy. I am. I, I mean, I'm interested in that too. But I just feel like the regular guys that I'm interested in. I mean, or that I that are interested in me. It's like they text too much, and it's like they come on too strongly. Um, I don't know. It's like I'm at the casino now, and it's this the weird thing about what she's saying. The guys that's trying to come to her are coming too strongly, but they're coming to her. But you going all the way across another state chasing a man who has no idea who you are. So you giving up all the possible good dudes that can be trying to holler at you for a celebrity who has multiple, multiple women and baby moms. That's what you want. And he's gonna he's gonna stop all that. All right. He can see, so I feel like if he knows who sent the gift, you know, maybe he'll be curious and like, oh, okay, you know, whatever. Now, let me say this. I'm not God, so I, I never like to say things as absolutes because, um, you know, I'm not God. Who knows? God can make anything happen. I truly believe that. But I will tell you, as a person, I don't consider myself a celebrity, but I live in the celebrity world. I have a lot of celebrity friends. Right. Um, but if if a stranger did this to me, I would be scared and I would be calling the cops. It doesn't make you, this doesn't, you're not making yourself desirable. You're making yourself come across like goofy. And going to the club and giving them polo boxers. And then there's a the deal. If if a person wants to date you seriously, mm -hmm. you, you have to be confident, right? You have to be able to talk to them and not act like a fan. So right. it's like you're saying you fanned out. Basically, you saw him in person. I only fanned out because, like you said, I, I guess it was scary for him as in, oh, you know, like, do I take this bag? And I'm like, yes, yeah, for you. So, I mean, I guess I just got, like, weirded out. Like, I mean, he's either taking the gift, like you said, as a fan. But, I mean, when I come off, I'm not trying to, like, I want your autograph. I want, you know, to talk to you. So, I mean, I don't know. Well, all men that you liked in the past, were you, were you this aggressive? Did you buy them gifts and stuff in the beginning? No. So why are you buying him gifts? Um, I guess I just wanted to catch his attention. So I just felt like... You know, maybe it'll catch his attention. I don't know. I, I haven't seen anyone at the concerts do it, and it was his birthday, so that's why I got to get when so, I went. Okay, so what was your goal for coming on my show tonight? Are you trying to give him a message? That is exactly why she is on the show. She came on this show to send a message directly to this dude. Just happened to be future. I don't know why she thinking... Out of all the women that he kicks it with, and he kicked with some beautiful women, that he's going to stop and go and get with her. I guarantee you, if she slept with him, she is going to try to get pregnant. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. She's obsessed with this man, and she can stop all this like she's not. She's a stalking, obsessed woman. I just wanted him to know that I was the one that got the gifts. So that if he is curious, and like but you said, we don't know who the guy is. We have to know his name. I can't say his name, Kendra. I feel like well, how is this message going to get across? We don't know if the guy, like, uh, is this not every rapper is watching my show? So, you know, you would have to say his name if you really want a message to get to him. I mean, I feel like he's he watches your show, so I feel like he's going to. How do you know he watches my show? He's my friend? He's not your friend, but I've seen, like, people that he knows watch your show, so I don't know. So how do you figure he watches my show? I don't know. I just, I guess I just assume. So you're coming up here, you're not going to say his name, and you're trying to get a message across to a rapper who you once gave, you met on the club at his birthday. When was, when, when, when did you go to the club? Last year in November. Wow. So his birthday's in November. What city? Was it a club of parents? No, it was a club in Miami. Do you want to give any type of hints? No. <laughs> Got a bunch of babies. Tell us why. I guess, like you, like you said, just coming this live, if he didn't, you know what I'm saying? If, like you said, if it comes off stockerish, I don't want to seem like that girl, like, oh, my God, you know, 
So that's the rate. We don't. We we way past that. Right. You. If but, you but I just. I, I mean, I don't think you. You don't think things out fully because if you want to share his name, that's fine. I guess. But there's. We don't know. We don't know who this is. So there's no way that he can get this message. Right. I think he will. He knows. Like I looked him dead in his face when I gave him the gift for his birthday. Girl, so, he's a famous rapper. Do you know how many women he's? I have people that come on my show that I've literally had conversations with and do not remember when they come back on a second time. I'm not trying to bust your bubble, but if he's as famous as you're saying, he meets women every single day. Why would he remember right. you? He does. I mean, I don't know. I'm just saying. I really don't want to say who he is because I don't want people in my DMs like, oh my God, really? You thought you were gonna have a chance with him? So that's why I really don't want to say who he is. We got a couple of paid questions. Um, this shit is someone so said. Someone said his future. His birthday is November twentieth. His future. Hi. See what I tell you. So you want to be baby mama number eight? No, Probably. I didn't say I was looking for a baby. By now. So you want to date a man that has eight baby mamas? I mean. I would want to date him. I mean, I think, I think judging someone and not knowing the full story. I mean, I'm I would opt out of that. But, but, I'm not. but when, okay. But what turns you on about future? Because have you seen him treat women in a way you want to be treated? I did. I can say Des, um, Des, you I didn't see him treat her in no type of way. Lori Harvey the same. So so so, what is it about future that you like, honey? Um, I love the way he dresses. I love how nice he is. Um, hey, I mean, again, like I said, I've met him before and he was genuinely nice. That's why I said I don't want to judge that because I haven't been in that seat before. So it's unfair for me to judge that. So that you want this most, okay, you want one of the most popular rappers in the world um, to take you out on a date, of course, that he would have to pay for, and to take you seriously as a dating option. I mean, I would think that anyone, anyone that wants to date with someone, they would hope that someone takes them seriously, of course. But I'm not looking to get married tomorrow. So it's like, it goes by what you're looking for as well. And I'm not look, I'm not asking um, for marriage from him. I'm not asking to be anyone's baby mom. I have a son already. So it's like, it also goes by that as well. Okay, so with saying all this, what do you want him to be then? What do you want him to be in your life? You, you want to be married to him, his girlfriend, one of his baby moms. What is it? Because you're doing all this for something. Now, this is a 34, 35-year-old woman chasing a celebrity with a 13-year-old daughter at home. And y'all don't see something weird about this shit? <sighs> This is a straight bird here, man. I hate to say it. I ain't hate to say stuff like that, but that's this straight bird. Girlfriend, I say this with as much love as I could possibly find a way to say it. Let it go. Focus on a person that could be a real option for your life. This is madness. It is. This is madness. And you got more pay questions. Oh, God, child. Shout out to the cousins who figured out who it was. I literally would not have figured it out. A couple of people are saying it's future, it's future, it's future. I guess they're figuring it out. This one said, she's calling from a casino. Is she trying to be taken serious? She said, uh, present differently. This is a bad look. It's a bad look because I'm calling from the casino? That's what um, Sir Roger said. i been on the show forever, then, I mean, it shouldn't matter where I'm calling from. CC said, okay, this is another one. CC said, just curious, how do you know if he has cameras if you never actually went to his address? When the, when the, the delivery driver delivered it, um, he put the camera that way, and he, it, you could see the camera. And this is his personal home? I mean, I guess. So what Truth Art said, is she self aware? Are you serious? I mean, again, I, I'm not going to respond to any questions because I don't care what people in the comments would think. I mean, Wait, look, at that, look at that in the corner. Look at that in the corner trying to scoot up in there. Now, look how she looking. Why would she pop, pop up in there? They're not brave enough to do it, so, I mean, this ain't no joke. This ain't no so, joke. Tami Tamaka said, um, I said, um, I said she looking to screw and give him a baby. 
No, I'm not. Yes, you are. What are you looking for? Is that your friend? Is that your friend? Yeah, this is my friend. Okay. Let me talk to your friend. This this be the problem. You don't think what your friend is doing is uh, is is crazy? I don't think so. No. Tell me think- why. Anything is possible. As a real estate broker, we see things all the time. She sees people sending ar- edible arrangements. We see stuff oh all the time, God. so it's not great. So, okay, so do you think that, okay, have you, do you know any success stories with rappers that this has happened to? This is going to be a success story. Mark all words. Mark all words. This will be your first success story, but as a real estate broker, my friend sees it all the time. We see these things all the time. As- Why the hell does she keep mentioning a real estate broker? Okay, you got your real estate license. We got it. We see this all the time. Where have you seen a, a high-level celebrity rapper get hooked up with one of you chicks from an edible package or whatever? If y'all see it and y'all know it so well, why y'all ain't hook your girl up? Come on. And why is she looking like somebody's mama down here? Like, take your daughters home. Okay, hold on real quick. Hold on. I, I, I have a few success stories from the show. All in the camera. So it, it would not be the first success story. And I'm asking you as her friends. You're saying you as a real estate. Do you guys honestly just as her friends feel as though her having his address, which he didn't give to her, she goes to send him an edible arrangement. You don't think he would think that this is a stalker? No, we, we, we believe she's taking outside the box. At the end of the day, we know these it, it may come across as a stalker, but we we see it as taking outside the box. Just like when that girl threw that bra at Drake, that was outside the box. And guess what? That girl got to deal with Victoria's Secret. Anything is possible. You never know what could be the one thing that makes you successful. You never know. Where, she's in it for fun. She's not trying to get married to him. This is just for fun. And it's going to work. And we're going to be a success story. We're going to be behind her a thousand percent. A thousand percent. Why, why are they speaking we? So what exactly are they trying to do? They trying to go viral? Is that what they trying to do? Because she keeps saying we're going to be a success story. So that's their plan to chase a celebrity in hopes that paparazzi going to see something and maybe, like you said, this girl got a Victoria's Secret deal that she talking about because she threw a bra on the stage. Oh. I ain't heard seen it, but I don't know. I ain't into that that time. Just weird shit. Real quick, what was the story you gave about Drake? What was the example? When that girl threw that big old bra on stage with Drake, nobody knew she was going to turn into a Victoria Victoria's Secret model. She thought outside the box. Okay, but right now your friend is trying to get future to date her seriously. That's okay. a different goal. You never know. I mean, my friend looks very good. The only thing you, at the end of the day, the only thing you need is the right place at the right time. If, if the right place may be Future's mindset right now, and after he receives it, he might be at the right place, might mind, right mind frame to be like, hey, let me let me do this, let me do that. I mean, we have right other now. links to him now. We have um, producers in the industry that she got access to. Okay, so let me ask you that. Okay, so, okay, so real quick, if y'all have other links, Producers, why didn't y'all go that route? If y'all know people that know him for real, because why he not go there you. Of calling me? He really respects you. Like, I don't watch your show, but I'm going to go more than He really listen. respects you and want to go through you. Oh, she talking. really respects me. But what I, yeah. well, I always tell people this. If you have a direct connection, you should use your direct connection. So if you're saying you have friends that know future directly that are your friends, Y'all should be focused well, one on thing, business. One thing I know, as a businesswoman, word of mouth word of mouth is the number one topic of marketing. So, no, I mean, but listen, hear me when I hear what I'm saying. You just said that y'all have direct connections to future. We so do. you have direct connections to future, you should... Why my, cousins, you? my cousins are in the industry as well. Okay, so hold on. Let me finish what I'm saying, honey. What mm-hmm. I'm saying is if you have a direct connection to future, then why don't you use those connections? She could, she could but she's not trying to, you know, go with sneaky. She's, she's just, just trying to get the word out because word of mouth is very important. That's a top marketing. Go piece. back to Nelly real quick. Nelly, where you at, honey? Here you go, baby. They want to do the- yeah, your friends are weird as They were about to get into it with Kendra over this. I could tell it was about to happen. They are... They are supporting their girl. I got it. Your girl's infatuated with the dude. I got it. But come on, man. 
This is stalkers. Y'all saying y'all got all these connections and all this. Why she had met her? Straight birds, man. They want somebody to know they business owners or whatever in real estate. The Kendrick cam. Everybody wants you to do the Kendrick cam. Okay, man. Yeah, bad as hell. Don't play with it. Okay. You do have a nice day. Very nice. No. Okay. Okay, sir. We got some more paid questions. Here we let go. Let me say, let me answer, let me answer. She was a bigger girl. Maybe got a little work done because her legs are extremely big in her arms. Now, you done lost some weight. Great. Outstanding. But future mess with girls, that's fine. I mean, they are fine. You got to beat out all that for him to stop what he's doing and get with you. And I'm telling you, all you want to do is lay down. Just say it. You want to lay down with him. Possibly have his baby. Let's just be real. There's no way you sitting up here wanting to be, like you said, baby mama number 10, girlfriend number who thousand. Come on. That's a question that you asked her. Because the person that I knew that was connected to him was like, don't do it. Why would you want to do that? And I'm like, because if that's who I'm attracted to, you want who you want. It's like you're going into a car. They have to want you back. And if a person that knows him directly tells you not to do it, that's not what No, that's not what He never passed the message. He said... Now, I want y'all to pay attention. The guy that has a direct contact in that industry towards him, telling you, you don't want to do this. Y'all going to ignore that. Talk shit about the man. Tell me he's jealous. And he ain't passed the message. He ain't passing the message because he know directly how this man moves. You will get, if he do see you, he going to dog you out. And you're going to be sitting looking crazy. Or one of his... Entourage gonna get hold of you. Or he gonna embarrass you. He might just embarrass you and put you out the door. I don't think you should do it because you know what I'm saying? Like if you just want like a uh he thing. Wants you, girl. right. But he never even presented the offer. He's like, You're a nice girl. I don't think that you should go that route. He never even presented, you know what I'm saying, or, or did anything. I'm not saying that you know what I'm saying I, I want him to. I'm just saying like, you know what I'm saying you don't you're not gonna just stop there. I mean, but okay, so after this, I mean it's not like I'm trying to do anything. I just wanted to bring it to your attention to have you pass the message across because I would be curious like who sent this. I don't think he girl if if these people he probably was at home. I, I I'm still stuck on you sending and you have his address. That would spook me the hell out. But. You know, right. celebrities have house people. He probably never even got it. They probably ate the edible arrangement. See, that's or what they I'm probably thinking. call the cops. We got a couple of paid questions. Um, Kyra said, birds of a feather. Yep. Flock. So I think together. he's talking about you and your friends. Oh, birds of a feather. Yeah. Didn't I straight, okay. right? straight birds? Uh, celebrity. Honey. So Rava said, delusional land. We're not delusional just because she it's is. Be but, but you know what? Don't, don't respond to the comments because, again, it's always going to be something. Right. Okay, this person said, West Mode 40, women keep women single. She needs new friends. Yeah. You need new friends because you don't have a, you're, you're not living in a reality world. You have to be different. <laughs> that's delusion. Some, one person's delusion is another person's reality. Like, that's insane that you have to take that you're, you're supposed to sit at home and wait for a celebrity to find you. No, sometimes you have to go out there and find a celebrity. How, really? By any means. They regular people, too. They like nice shit, too. They like new ideas, too. What the fuck? But, okay. Who are these birds, man? It's, it's amazing that these 35, the other actually about 40, y'all running around here trying to be groupies. Wow. Ain't that something? Dehande 07, Dehande 07 said her friends is just as low as she is. Right. Right. But you're at home looking sad and we're at the casino having fun. <laughs> so, next. Corny. Okay. Melanie says she needs better friends. Here's one. Here, here's one. Here's one for y'all. Mr. Albert said, let her manifest it, Kendra. Exactly. Anything is possible. Listen, future might be on his life. Future might see this. Or shade. Like anything can happen within the next five minutes, five seconds, five years, whatever. 
The same, the same thumbs that y'all bend in y'all fingers to write these comments to is the same thumbs y'all gonna be wiping the tears off and crying for when y'all see this girl with future. So whatever. She never said. Okay, that. the the Iba family said, "Girl, sit down. You sound like a stray stalker. At this point, you really need to seek mental health." Right. Okay, help us then, since you know so much. You're a stray stalker, but you're seeking seeking people on the internet like this, like. Oh, no. I'm not going to argue with nobody on the internet. It's going to go, it's always going to be yay or nay. So, I mean, right. what I said what I said. I came on the show to say what I wanted to say. And that's Let's it. not turn this into I mean, no again, advice. even if he doesn't talk to me, I was brave enough to do it. Right. That was it. <sighs> Nelly. Um, okay, so we got the rapper's name. So, the goal now is if Future gets this message. Let's just say Future gets this message and he sees this. What do you want to say to him directly? I mean, I wouldn't say anything to him directly. I mean, I would hope what that he I'm saying would... is, no, you came on the show to react right. to the he would, I would hope that he would message me. And that would be, I mean, then what are you going to say? Okay, so you want, so, so the goal is for Future to see this and then DM you. Right, right. What right. is your DM? Now, just to be clear, that's the only man you're interested in. It's not the only man I'm interested in. It's just the only man that I've been trying to get attention right now. Okay, so. Man. All right, girlfriend. If if future DMs you, please give me an update. I sure will. Are we paying for that interview? We'll be updating. Paying pay for interview? Y'all calling me? What you talking about? Paying for an interview? Uh, Y'all calling me? I just call you. I didn't ask you to be on this show. He get hot, baby. I what the hell is she talking about? Y'all calling me? I ain't calling you. So I'm you paying for an interview. Show. We support your show. So what that got to do with it? You call me and I'm supposed to pay you because you call I me? Call, I called you. I didn't call you. Ciao. Okay. Well, bye. Bye. Keep me posted how it goes, boo. I bye, sweetheart. Well. See, uh, that's my thing, man. These women are delusional out here. And y'all be talking about the dudes, but these are 35. They all look like she's about 40 years old. But they are out here living in a fantasy world chasing rappers. 35-year-old women out here chasing rappers and stuff. Come on, man. I mean, what what are we doing out here? Y'all went so far as to go on a show hoping that Future is on her dating show. Why would Future be on Kendra's show? And this would get to him, and he's going to fly her out. And let's say if he do bring her out somewhere on a stage and do a little... Hug, ain't gonna send her ass right back. Like you did when you gave him the underwear, he gave you a little hug and a little kiss on the cheek or something. So what what what's the thing, man? What where's it in? So guys, y'all let me know. I don't know. Y'all let me know. I'm just dude out here. I don't understand these rules out here with these old ass groupies. So y'all let me know what y'all think about it. And I'm going to get up out of here. Because what? It is your boy. And y'all stay vibing. Peace. My goodness. My goodness.